is the night of filling at Detroit's Opera House where numerous gospel artists are expected and the performance is getting ready to be underway. A glorious night in Detroit, numerous gospel artists were here to perform and spread a message of inspiration and holiness at Detroit's Opera House. They included Marette Brown Clark, Darius Twyman, Mighty Clouds of Joy, Bill Moss, and Shirley Caesar, who I got a chance to meet with for a sit-down one-on-one backstage interview. Now we're here in the music capital of the world. How does it feel to be here in Detroit? I'm just glad to be here. And uh Wish that had a little more time tonight, but it's just wonderful to be back in the Motor City. You know, you must feel totally blessed that God has given you such a powerful voice um, to speak the message of his word. Well, I, I, I've got to tell it like it is. I got it from my father. My father was a great gospel singer. All of his brothers and sisters were singers, preachers, evangelists, and somehow or another, that ministry just poured over in my life. How do you feel holding Mahalia Jackson uh, with, su with such high esteem as your hero in your heart? Oh, I thought that you were getting ready to compare me with her. I, nobody compares with her. But I'm so glad uh, to be able to stand on her shoulders. She paved the way for me, for Aretha Franklin, for Albertino Walker, Andes Andrews, all of us, even the younger singers that are standing on my shoulders. Mahalia Jackson has done that for us. So I am just highly grateful for that. You know, you bring so much inspiration into the lives of others with the gospel that you sing, preach, and teach that all generations of people look up to you. How does it feel to have people um, that hold such high respect for you the same way you held such high respect for Mahalia Jackson? Well, number one, I, I, I just don't feel worthy because I, I have totally committed my singing, my voice, what little I have, I've committed that to the Lord. And, uh, and so I'm just so grateful that God has chosen me to be one in the midst of all of these uh, to, to carry the gospel by way of singing. You know, when you're on TV shows or singing to crowds of people like you did here tonight, um, do you vision all of these things um, that you're doing as a career for you? Or do you look at, look at it as a, in a way to just share the gospel of Christ and of inspiration that the Lord has given you? This is total ministry. You know, I make my living from singing. But this is total ministry, total ministry with me. I, 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 don't, I don't look at it as a job. Sometimes, uh, every now and then when my husband uh, you know, hear, hears me say, uh, I got to go to work. You know, he said, no, don't say that. And he's right, this is total ministry with me. You know, the generation of gospel seems to be um, changing a bit with the mix of rap, urban. Oh, it has changed. Yeah, it has totally changed. Yeah, with the mix of rap, urban, and hip-hop music um, that targets the youth um, to welcome them and make them, um, bring them more closer to God, which has. Um, do you agree with that type of genre of music? Oh, I do. I do now, more so now than, than ever before. I totally agree with it. At first, I thought that it was just a little bit to way out. The only thing that I don't like is all of the flesh that's on parade. You know, shaking the booty and all of that. I don't, I don't, I don't adhere to that and I don't agree with that. I think that there should be a separation when it comes to that. I, I, I don't even believe in singing songs that does not include Jesus in it. So, so you know, um, it's just, it's, it's just got to be right. And uh, you know, I thank God for for other genres. Of, of, of gospel music. I even love country gospel. But uh, I just don't like the flesh on parade. Caesar also discussed with me future plans that she has in store. But I'm getting ready to um, um, train in, in, in recording other folk because I have my own label, but I also have my own recording studio. And uh, somebody now is getting ready to train me in how to work the board and how to do this, that, and other, turn this button turn this up and turn that down. That's all I really know how to do. <laughs> at, at home, all I know how to do is just plug it in the wall. But um, I'm okay. getting ready to um, go to a, 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 a school of music and they're going to train me in doing that. Engineering, if you will. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much. And that's a Shirley Caesar exclusive.
The night is over, and as you can see, the crews are packing up. It was a very packed house and a very inspirational one also with all the gospel artists in town for a night celebrating with Detroiters. And Detroit at the Opera House, Andre Ash, Detroit, EM News.